What can I do for you? As you are thinking it, as you are singing it, be thinking, oh, because it will ask for things from you. It will demand them from you. But let me tell you beforehand, don't be worried when the Lord demands anything from you. What he gives you back is not the same thing you give him. He makes it better. You see guys, not everybody is a worshiper. And that's why I'm tired of why I don't want invitation not everybody is a worshiper worshiping is a choice and Jesus was very specific as to the kind of worship he wants so Jesus couldn't share any demo could die anything for he's being fed worship non-stop and I'm talking of worship in terms of music because it's not just music it's being fed daily he's not hungry so that when they say join the procession of heaven you understand the invitation and you don't take it carelessly is an ongoing procession you are joining and you feel too big the elders and the angels don't stop you feel important it's not only the person that tells you you are stupid that is proud anybody who doesn't know how to respond to God is proud. Because it is something stopping you. If you don't know how to respond to the love, to the goodness, to the kindness of God, you are proud. Who brought you where you are? them and what gold and my breasts seem feel important who brought us here who is keeping us you woke up this morning because you are pretty and you set alarm you woke up because there is a purpose for your life don't forget it the day your purpose is over, you will sleep and not wake up. So that I need your long feet. And let's stop singing songs. Let's stop allowing our songs go to where our lives have not gone. Don't come and tell him, I give you my heart and you're holding it. Don't come and tell him, I receive this sacrifice and you're still holding yourself. Your life is not going where your songs are going and it's just a wasted effort. Sorry to bust your bubble. Once your life match up with where your songs are, one song will change it all. What can I do for you? I'm singing it, I'm thinking, oh, 
God is. My God is indestructible. So I say, nothing moves him. Nothing beats him. He's in a class of his own. The God we are talking about. Nothing moves him. Nothing beats him. He's in a class of his own. I said nothing moves him. Nothing beats him. He's in a class of his own. Your God is indestructible. What do you say? Nothing moves him. Nothing. He's in a class. He's in a class of his own. Your God is irreplaceable. What do you say? Nothing moves him. Nothing beats him. Nothing beats him. He's in a class. He's in a class of his own. Your God is irremovable. What do you say? What do you say? Nothing moves him. Nothing beats him. He is in a class. Your God is undetronable. What do you say? Nothing moves him. Question of what you can do for me. What can I do? Oh. I'm just trying to tell you who your God is. He's the one that said, He tried to me. Oh, good. about Ogun. We are not talking about Buddha. We are not talking about Mohammed. We are not talking about Amadioma. We are not talking about Oshu. The one who is your daddy said, Ijadokmi Ogun Lori Aye Reti Chon Oh, look, Balare, Jago, Luni, Nitorina, Oria, you are shouting because of him, not because of you. Hale. He shall do. 
Oh, glory, I want more ready top. Oh, look, I love it. Jago, more. Lordy, need to Glory, I hear it. 
If it's in the hands of men, there is a problem. But it's in the hands of God. He jado queen. Oh glory, where at it on? Oh balara. Jago molo. Jago molo me. Torino. you you shout hallelujah in joy for a reason not because of you if it is on your account it's not possible if we check your record you are not qualified but olubalare shagomolu Nitorino Oria Niwa is a song of joy. What is that song?
Jesus. We didn't say it belongs to any other God. It belongs to your Jesus. All the battles you are fighting, the victory belongs to Jesus. He does not belong to the devil. He does not belong to the devil. He belongs to Jesus. He belongs to Jesus. He belongs to Jesus. All the long standing, long standing issue, Jesus has the victory. somebody walking from left to right praying in the Holy Ghost that's the spirit victory belongs to Jesus not to another God so that long standing problem that the devil is using to torment you the victory belongs to Jesus the devil doesn't have the victory he's not in his power he's not in his power he's not in his power The Lord Jesus, he said, search not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The devil doesn't have the victory. Who is with the victory? Who is with the victory? And who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? Your daddy has the victory. Your daddy has the victory. Your daddy. Your daddy, your daddy.
could carry Jesus in his womb, then your womb is not barren. Mary did not only carry a baby, she carried purpose. So if Mary carried Jesus in the womb, your womb is not barren. Your womb will carry babies and purples. Some of us, the Lord is waiting for our womb to carry purples first. Before you see the manifestation of the baby. Did you hear what I said? Some of you, the Lord is waiting for your womb to carry purpose first and then you will see what? The manifestation of the babies. There shall be no barren in the land. The word of the Lord has never failed and it will never. Oh. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Because you are the covenant keeper, God. You are the covenant keeper. Your name is Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Your name is Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yeah, you are the covenant keeping what he said. side but you will conceive you are the covenant
covenant keeping. If it happened for Mary, if it happened for Anna, if it happened for Sarah, for Elizabeth, it will happen for you. Your father is the covenant keeping. Your father is the covenant keeping. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. So it takes me back to it's not a question of what he can do for you. The question is, what will you do? said if you give me the child I will give you he will worship in your house it's not a question of what he can do for you the question is what will you do for him is your Lord I want every eyes closed. Lift your hands. It's not a question of what God can do for you. What God can do has never been in question. What will you do for him? If you're here and you want to make a covenant with him, here and you want I've told you what your God can do this God gave me this God gave me millions eh? in pandemic in the heat of it last year he gave me millions not ten million say who can give you it's not a question of what he can do for you humble yourself what will you give to him is your Lord if you want to make a covenant with him while everyone is standing and lifting their hands first if you want to make a covenant with him while everyone is standing because I'm going to ask those who want to make that covenant to kneel down if you want to make a covenant with him with that issue you have been believing for I want you to go on your knees and make that covenant now a covenant with him with the Lord of host tell him Lord I'm sorry I know now or I'm reminded that you can do all things so the problem is not you I bring myself now into surrender and into covenant with you tell him and that means if your life have not been too good is a good time to tell him if you have not been living too righteous is a good time to repent I said the Lord said to me that repentance is a call to power it's not a thing of shame repentance is a call to power because when you repent then God is obligated 
to fight for you. But when you don't repent, you allow the devil to have his way with you. You give the devil legal ground to torment you. So if you are making a covenant with him, tell him that, Lord, I have tried in my own strength. These are the areas I am failing. And I believe, I said two categories, but I will just say that once. Even if you don't know Jesus, this is the time. Make a covenant. Nobody has to know the covenant you've made. What's important is the life you live after now. So make that covenant. If your covenant is that you have been struggling with something from it, for him, give it to him. And if the covenant that you have been holding on to your life, you have not really surrendered it. You have been singing and your songs have been going to where your life have not gone to. Tell him now. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I give this to you. It's not a question of what you can do. Oh me, what will I give to? That's what he's asking. Heaven is hearing that covenant. Hell is hearing that covenant. You are hearing that covenant. So there's a covenant from now. And each party will guard their covenant. And we know a God that we serve when she sang, I know a God who is merciful and kind, faithful and gracious. I'm the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. He loved me when I didn't care, but was patient till I came running back into his arms. Look how he turned my life around Made me a brand new woman His glory to reveal So the God we serve Will keep his part of the covenant And will help you keep your part of the covenant So on every side It is a win-win And a lose for the devil So if you have made that covenant Heaven have heard you God is jealous over his covenant. Jesus, they have spoken to you, not to man. None of us have the ability to change a thing. You are the one that changes all things. You are the one that can do all things. And it is you they have spoken to. As your child that you will show yourself strong on their behalf in Jesus name amen it's not a question of what you can do for what will you do So when you realize this, this is what you say. He has literally changed your story. The testimonies will flow in like water. They will flow in like rivers. 